Hi, welcome to Telugu IT Factory. Today in this video, we'll see what is pivot table, how we create pivot table and pivot chart. Okay. So for that, so I have designed data like this: name, product, place, and value. First, what is pivot table and why we use pivot table? Pivot table is to use pivot table to customize our data. Okay, to summarize or customize our data based on our requirement. Large number of data we can customize. Okay, large number of data we can customize based on our business requirement. Okay, for that I have created this data: name, product, place, and area. Okay, so first of all we have to select from here to here. We have to select entire our table. Don't select this heading. Okay, don't select this heading. Only column names to from data. Column from column names to data. Only select this. Then, are you able to see this insert tab? Click on insert tab. Then click on pivot table. Click on pivot table. Then you will get this window. Okay. Then you will get this window. So we have two options here. New worksheet or existing worksheet. If you want to create this pivot table in another worksheet, or you want to create in this worksheet, so first we'll see existing worksheet. Okay, existing worksheet. We'll see existing worksheet where you want to display this. Okay, you have to select your range. Just click on here. Just click here. Okay, automatically it will take. Okay. Suppose if you want to add data model to this, if you want, you can check this data model. Okay, so we have two options. One is new worksheet. One is existing worksheet. Present we'll see in existing worksheet only. Just you have to exist. Click on existing worksheet, and you have to click on cursor here. Just you have to select here any cell. Okay, you you have to select any cell here. Then click on OK. Then click on OK. See, right side you are getting pivot table fields. Okay, right side you are getting pivot table fields, and below you are getting pivot table. Okay, this this window you will get like this. Suppose if I click here out of the box, see automatically the right side table is not appeared. So don't. Okay, so. Don't click like this. If you click on like this, then the window will be disappear. Suppose if you want to see that window, don't worry. Just click on here. Okay. Otherwise, just scroll down. Okay. Click on here. Then you will get this pivot table field. So my requirement. So now what I am doing is just simply I am placing. This place into columns. Okay, you have to click on like this and drag place into columns. Okay, see, so places places are coming column wise. So here places are row wise. So here row wise is there, right? Now I am placing places into column wise. Okay, next what I am doing is rows. So in rows I am taking name. Okay. Name and one more product. Product also I am taking in rows. Okay. So next, what I am doing is I am doing sum. So we have to take value into here. So now see, just you have to click here. Now see, we have customized our data. We have summarized our data. Suppose in only if you want to see only Anil data, okay. Just you have to click like this. You can see only Anil data. See, we have minus and plus symbols are there. See, see only we can see Anil data, Anil computers, okay. Vijayvada, how much sales? Vizag, how much sales? Grand total, how much? A laptop in Vijay in Pune, Vijayvada, Vizag, how much sales he have done? So if you want to see all, you can. See just click on plus so we can customize based on our requirement we can customize our data are you able to see the here so here we have filters suppose if you want to see only particular area just you have to uncheck this 
and click on Pune then see you can see only Pune okay suppose if you want to see all then click on all then click on OK so you can see all like this we can customize based on our requirement okay this is about pivot table next we'll see pivot chart okay next we'll see pivot chart okay once we enable this automatically we are getting two tabs CLC one is analyze and one is a design suppose if we want to design your chart like pivot table if you want to design based on your requirement see here we can change colors see based on our requirement we can change n number of designs we can give any number of designs see based on our requirement we have number of designs see if you click on this you'll see n number of n number of designs based on our requirement we can select n number of designs so I'm taking this okay like this if you are selecting pivot table automatically this analyze and design both two tabs will be enabled now we'll see pivot chart just you have to click on pivot chart okay in analyze you have to click on pivot chart so based on our requirement what type of chart you want okay line chart or column chart okay then pie chart or bar chart area chart see now I am taking area chart okay in this we have number of options based on our requirement based on our business requirement we can take n number of charts we can create n number of chart this is the uh, use of pivot table like we can customize based on our requirement we can customize see see tree map is there radar surface stock y axis quarter plat okay area chart bar chart pie chart so now now i am taking some bar chart okay so we'll create one bar chart bar chart then you have to click here then click on okay see automatically here chart is showing right so like this we can customize okay so here automatically filters are coming see so if we want to see only particular area just click on particular area okay then chart will automatically see both are changing automatically both are changing like this we can customize our chart and table so now i am selecting all then click on okay okay so like this we can create pivot table and we can create pivot chart so we can customize suppose here see name only I want to see particular candidate suppose Mukesh okay so see Mukesh chart and Mukesh pivot table like this we can present okay like this we can present suppose we have n number of sheets okay n lot of data is there with us okay if you want to see particular area chart or particular area sales I want to see only particular area sales or particular candidate chart then we can use pivot table in real time most probably we'll use pivot table only okay in real time we'll use pivot table so now if you want to see only particular product so uncheck all then click on laptop then click on okay only particular laptop you will get so now i am filtering all okay select all click on okay see automatically chart is changing based on our requirement okay see now i'm selecting all see both automatically both are changing so here also okay so all is there okay like this suppose here if you want to see we have number of options here in value tab so if you click on this so value field setting you have to click on value field setting here we are seeing sum of grand total sum right so now i want to see average you have to click on average then okay you will see average okay now chart is changing see so if you want to see average you can click on here then value field settings okay sometimes default it is some people default it is 
selected count so you don't uh, like don't panic so sometimes it is default count is selected so you have to click on this value field then value field setting then click on sum then click on ok then here you will display some people you will get count here zeros and ones you will get like this so what you have to do is just click on this value field setting then value field setting then here you have to select some count average maximum minimum product c and number of variance standard deviation product so a default i am taking some okay click on okay then you will get like this so based on our requirement we can change our data we can customize and we can summarize our data this is about pivot table and pivot chart okay thank you